I made it to Edinburgh. The journey went really good, actually. I felt a bit potsy on the journey, but it was well worth it to make it here as well. It's kind of sunny for Scotland. It's weird. I used to come here with my mum and we'd go to the Christmas market and oh my god I remember it, it was just like so this is the station Waverley and um, over there used to be where the Christmas market was and I remember because my mum used to want to take loads of photos but I used to hate having my face in the camera it's very different from now obviously <laughs> I remember I fell out with her because she took a photo of I think it was a candy floss place and I was like oh my god no and I remember storming off and I think this is where I like stormed off in case you didn't know I was a very um I was quite a hot tempered child I'm a bit different now much calmer um but yeah, ignore my appearance, so I'm a bit tired. I need to sleep till about half twelve, but I'm hoping that my sleep schedule will get a bit better and I'm on my way to find a cafe on the mound and hopefully this place is going to be very, very cool. But I always feel really at home in Scotland, um, like quite a lot, which is weird. I didn't have the best childhood in Scotland, so it's very weird that I feel more at home in Scotland, but as soon as I cross the border, I get really, really excited. And I'm very excited for this little solo trip. I'm really, really nervous though. So hopefully it goes well. It's a shortcut, but I'm feeling very potsy. But it's actually quite a nice view, which is quite nice. It just seems a bit unreliable. And I think it's called Meadowside bit and I've got some lunch a meal deal because I am not a very rich person it's gone quite cold but I've got till 3 p.m. to check in and I've been up I think it's called Venel stairs the stairs of one day so I've been up there and I'll show you what I've got in my bag awkwardly had to leave some of my stuff in the suitcase luggage area and literally it looked like I was going for people's bags <laughs> and then I left my bag at the reception so first of all we have hula hoops Oh, I have pasta and some water because my water bottle kept leaking and I didn't want to leak it all over my camera. Some cheese because in case you don't know, I absolutely love cheese. A Red Bull because I'm really tired and I'm on my period so energy's lacking. <laughs> and if you can't tell by like my look. <laughs> and then I've got a book as well because my plan after this because I've done quite a lot of walking is to find a nice coffee place and just read for a bit because I'm quite tired and I could also do a charge of my phone. Um, I can go back to the lounge area, but I can't, I'm kind of like, I'm already out of the area now, so I'm like, mm, I might as well keep going. And then I have my cards and everything, we don't want to see them. A little sketchbook, because I need to sketch more. And then I have some donuts. And then I have sunglasses, once I can get them out without breaking them. Oh god. Anyway, here they are. And there's a power bank in here, which does fuck up, doesn't work. So I found that out as well, but I'm quite excited. I was quite nervous, like my little heart was like pattering away, having to go up and speak to the reception again. I'm just reminding myself that this is good for me. I've lost my confidence a bit on talking to people, so it was good for me as well. I'm gonna get better at it, but yeah, I'm gonna have my lunch. And then I think I'm gonna, like you say, find a coffee spot to read, which I know sounds really boring to some people, but it's really interesting to me. Then I'm gonna check in. And then I might try and take a nap for a little bit and then explore some more. This is the Scotland I know and love. Scotland in the rain. So this is the view. You can't really see, I think half the seat's that way. I might be wrong. I might be really wrong my geography. But yeah, it's really rainy. I like rested for a little bit at the hostel and then I had to take my meds there. And oh my God, I was like so anxious about it. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna have to take my meds in front of people. I hate taking my meds in front of people. And I was like, oh my God, they're gonna think like I'm some sort of druggie or something. So I was literally like taking out <laughs> prescription medication after prescription medication. But it allows me to be in places like this. It's very cool. There's like a thing here. So that's very cool. But this is Edinburgh Castle and this is without all the people here because the rain brings everyone away. But this is what Scotland's really like. <sighs> oh, let's bring my umbrella up. Oh God, I'm trying to work out. Can you see it? There you go, you can see it. So that's it, that's it there. 
I've been in there quite a few times. It was quite funny. I was hearing um, some people in the hostel over talking about how it's a bit boring. And I was like, yeah, I went when I was like nine. <laughs> can confirm. I've actually been several times. It's not very interesting. Um, it's kind of interesting in some things, like the history, like as I grew older and the history of this place, which I actually don't remember. <laughs> I remember fuck all. I remember all about the clan history because that used to be my special interest. Just not about actual Edinburgh. Probably some sort of fort, I'm gonna guess it's some sort of fort, but I'm really grateful I've got this umbrella and I've got my camera bag. Meant to be waterproof, I hope it's waterproof. But yeah, I think I can still hear the bagpipes, so I might go and find them. And then I've gotta find myself some dinner, some cheap dinner preferably, because I really want more money. Um, it's fun times. It's called being a student who's unemployed. Well, actually, I'm employed right now. I don't get paid though, yeah. But yeah, Edinburgh Castle, oh God. Oh my god, that doesn't work, that's just making rain go on me, but yeah. So this is Greyfair's graveyard, and this is a statue for Greyfair's Bobby. And I think, I don't know where I heard this story before, it was either in primary school, my mum gave me the book, and I was absolutely fascinated by this. So when my mum had cancer treatment, she had a treatment based here in Edinburgh. Um, so we, I think we came here a couple times and I remember like at one time like my dad took me here I think he actually like <laughs> waited outside the gates wherever the gates are Oh my god, I can't show you where the gates are because I'm confused where I am But <laughs> well, I do know where I am, but I'm confused where the camera's pointed at But I remember walking up to here. Oh, it was the other statue I don't know if I made it this far though. I do think I remember the gravestone actually for Greyfez But it's like um if I remember right, it's a story about a dog whose owner died and the owner like it died but the dog didn't quite understand it's actually really sad the dog didn't understand um so it laid um on the grave of the body and like locals fed it and kept it alive from my knowledge of it and i think it's a true story like it wouldn't surprise me if it was a true story um but i think it was quite a number of years ago so i think people were probably quite hungry so i think that's probably what the big thing was where they're like keeping a dog alive and in the books the dog goes on loads of adventures which somehow I doubt are less true um, but this is also I think if I have this right the famous graveyard the well I don't like her um, JK Rowling took names from Harry Potter here I haven't actually been able to find them as well I don't like her and I also think it's is it a bit dodgy to take random dead people's names like surely that's against the rules but I haven't been able to find it yet but it was actually a perfect time going when it was raining and like like kind of like early evening because I would assume that this would be re usually really really full of people but it's actually not um, and like for a graveyard it's actually quite pretty and I think the rain adds to the atmosphere personally. Mm -hmm. 